All right, I got these, this arm off of my female maquette, but it shows the muscles, and they're the same muscles a man has, but I'm doing a, a muscles that are, well, because of his age and stuff like that, have deteriorated a little bit. Now, I there's a magnet right behind the uh, uh, shoulder blade that fits into a socket on the figure of the female and I can use that to put that on a board here which has a uh, iron screw in it and that helps me to see what I'm doing with the uh, muscles and stuff without breaking my arm this is the uh, other side of the uh, female maquette and it's the uh, shows the bone structure, which would be basically the same as a male. A little bit different, but not much. Time to play with some clay. So if you haven't guessed by now, I'm doing the arm of the warrior and the hand so I can put the uh, pipe bag on the figure. What I'm doing is doing the uh, bony structure of the uh, lower part of the arm. I also have the uh, maquette arm off the other, the full male figure that I have, and uh, he doesn't have magnets. It takes, it has a peg that goes into a hole. So, I'll be working from this as well. This shows veins on uh, the arm and all that stuff. Really helpful. Now the maquettes are the same color as the monster clay, but they're not made of monster clay. They're just a, a resin that I guess was 3D printed. I'm not certain how they do it. It probably molded it and then uh, cast from it. The uh, gentleman that did these is a heck of an artist. I hope this isn't too boring for you to watch me just detailing. The detailing is what takes time. I can slap it together pretty quick, but it's still, you have to spend time detailing your figure or your sculpture. And that's what takes time. This is where I cut his arm to lift it up a little bit so it would match the uh, position of the uh, pipe. I'm going to leave texture on the... Uh, skin i don't want it to be perfectly smooth i like my artwork to look like it's been sculpted instead of 3d printed or something like that i want it to look like i had something to do with the uh, creation of it with my hands that's one of the beauties of 
handmade stuff is it uh it's handmade and not uh, machine printed i have nothing against machine printed stuff but uh there's something about somebody putting their hands on something and creating it by hand that's uh to me is a lot more art although they can do some amazing things with 3d printing and zbrush I can just find the right tool. What you do is you, you observe life. That's uh and you store it in your head. Sometimes you take pictures of it. But I remember an uh, old uncle. When I was a kid back in the 1950s, I my mom and Dad took all of us to visit an old uncle that lived out in Kansas and uh, on the prairie. His old farmhouse out there. And uh, what a trip that was. The, uh, they were an old couple, the uh, farmer and his wife. And... Uh, When we got there, we uh, got done hugging each other and being, you know, saying how glad we are to see each other and all that stuff. My uncle, whose arms looked a lot like this guy, and uh, took me out, took myself and my brother uh, Stephen out to uh, a tr old oak tree. It was growing out in his yard. I don't know if it was oak or not. I, Quite honestly, I don't remember what kind of tree it was. It was a real old tree, though. And he showed me a ring that had been grown over. It was a ring that they used to tie horses up to that was, you know, attached to the uh, tree. And uh, he pointed out that ring, and he says... I remember when Jesse James and his brother had come and visit, and he knew Jesse James and his brother. That's crazy. And they would tie their horses up to that ring. But I also remember his arms. And I remember how you could see the veins and stuff like that in his arms. and It was... Uh, just something that always stuck in my mind. I guess that's what I'm trying to do here is replicate what I remember from when I was a kid. Of course, that was 
what is that about that's 67 years ago wow and i still remember that his arms i also remember how they smelled <laughs> they drank raw milk you know the milk that they got out of their cows and they had that raw milk smell to their sweat everything had that predominantly everything in their house everything had that raw milk smell and it came through their sweat and filled their house with that uh, aroma i'll never forget it I do the knuckles even though the hands aren't the fingers aren't shown I'm going to still create it like it was showing I'll come back when I get this pretty much done because I show how to do this in uh, my videos on instruction of in, yeah I'll come back when I get this pretty well done because I show how to do this on uh, my instructional videos and uh, some of them and I'm not going to do it here. All right, I'm going to put some Ronsonol on. I don't think this works as well as maybe some other product, but I'm going to go ahead and use it. Yeah. I think what I might do is take down the, the veins just a little bit tomorrow. And uh, we'll see how it looks to me at that time. That's the veins that go there, but... I don't want it to be too obvious. I mean, not obvious, but too overdone. Now. I can more permanently attach that to the, uh, the pipe bag opening to it. And, uh, The rest of the pipe bag to it as well. And I'll pick that up tomorrow. Right now, I'm going to call it quits because it's getting late in the afternoon. But I like, the, I kind of like the uh, the veins, but I think I'm going to take them down just a little bit tomorrow. Just let it stiffen up a little bit overnight. All right, everybody, have a great night, and I'll see you next time. The Old Warrior. I wish I could think of a better title for it. I will before too long. All right, good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.